Do you need a new living room rug but aren't sure where to start? I have the tips you need. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. Here you'll find practical tips for a home you'll love. Today we're gonna talk about choosing a rug for your living room. A living room area rug defines the space especially in an open concept home, and it brings your whole entire look together. Because of that, you wanna make sure that you choose the right rug for your space and for your decor, and that can be overwhelming, whether you're talking about the size of the rug that you need, the color, the pattern, the texture, all of those things can be overwhelming and you may not be sure where to start. So I have the tips for you so that you can pick the right living room rug for your home, and I've included one very important tip that a lot of people forget. So make sure you stay tuned till the end so you hear about that tip. My first tip is to choose the right rug size. Like I said earlier, the living room rug defines the space. The space we're talking about in your living room is the seating area. It needs to define the area where you're going to sit not the whole entire room. Because of that, you want a rug that covers the seating area. Here's how to do that. You want the area rug to fit under the front legs of your sofa and any of your chairs. That means you don't want it sitting in front of your sofa and your chairs. You want it to go just underneath the sofa and the chairs. It can go a little bit past that, so extend underneath the couch and your chairs a little bit more, but you want to make sure that at least it's going underneath them. That way it is defining the area where everyone sits. An easy rule of thumb that you can use for this is to measure out the seating area up to the front legs of all of your chairs and your sofas. Measure that out and then you can size up. That's if you're choosing a rug with a standard size. There are several standard sizes, so you measure the area, and then you can go just a little bit up from that to make sure that you have enough rug for your space. Because an important tip is that it is better to go too big rather than too small. With that, you wanna make sure that if the rug is extending past your furniture towards walls, you want to leave about 10 to 12 inches between the end of your rug and your wall. You want to choose complementary colors and patterns. This rug is going to ground your space and bring it all together. If your furniture has a lot of patterns on it, it's better to go for a more neutral rug that is solid and plain. Conversely, if your furniture is more simple and plain, it's better to go with a rug with a pattern. When you're choosing the color for your rug, you wanna match it to a secondary color in your decor. You don't want it to be the same main color that you have all throughout your room and your furniture. You want to bring out another color, that way it complements it and it completes the look. My next tip is to think about the material of your rug. Now the material that you pick is going to depend on the traffic in your room and the use that it's going to get. So I'm gonna talk about several of the very popular materials for rugs. The first is wool. This is a very common material used to make rugs. It's soft and cozy and it's pretty stain and water resistant. It's good for high traffic areas, but it does shed, and the shedding will get better over time and with vacuuming. The next type of material is cotton. This one is affordable and easy to clean. It's usually in a flat weave, so it's very flat and not super fluffy, but the con on this one is that it doesn't wear well over time. Next, we have natural fibers like jute and sisal. These are made from woven plant fibers. They're great for wear and tear, but they are core and can be hard to clean. Lastly is synthetics. These mimic natural fibers. They're family friendly and easy to clean. They're also very budget friendly, but they don't feel as plush and luxurious under your feet as some of the other materials. 
Along with the materials, another thing that you need to think about is high pile or low pile. Now this depends on, again, the use and the type of traffic that you're going to have in the room. Low pile is gonna be sturdier, easier to clean, and less expensive. The high pile is gonna be cozier and feel nice underneath your feet, but it's not good for high traffic areas. last tip and one that people often forget is don't forget a rug pad. The rug pad is going to absorb the impact from your feet and it's also going to absorb the sound. It will protect your floor if you have hardwood floors from getting scratched and it's also going to keep your rug in place. Now this is the part that my husband and I almost forgot. We got our living room rug picked out, we purchased it, we got it in and put it down in the living room and stepped on it and we were like, whoa, this does not feel good. If you watched my video from a couple of weeks ago, I talked about our wood tile flooring. So with the tile, it's very hard. There's not a lot of padding in any type of area rug that you're going to choose. So the rug pad will provide a soft cushion underneath your feet if your rug is on a hard surface. So to recap, we have choose the right rug size, pick complementary colors and patterns, think about the material, and don't forget a rug pad. Follow these four steps to pick the perfect area rug that complements your living room and grounds the whole space. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it helps you create a home you'll love. Just for watching today's video, I have a free printable for you to help you decorate your home on a budget. Just click on the first link down in the description and that will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up down below. Also, comment below and let me know, do you have any other tips for picking out a living room rug? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell, that way you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.